The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, Realist Puppet in the game. And today I'm showing you how to live stream with perfect audio. I'm sharing all my favorite tips and tricks to improve your sound quality, not only on the way in, but add some processing to maximize how good you can sound to your live audience. So let's jump right into what you're gonna need. First, I like to use a free application called OBS, and this is where I connect all my audio gear, video gear, my YouTube stream key. This is basically the centerpiece of your entire live stream, and it's completely free. When you download and install OBS, you're gonna first see a screen like this, and this is an empty scene. We can very easily add an audio device to our scene first. Actually, you know what, let's rename our scene first just to be organized. I'm gonna call this my camera. I'm gonna go here and add an audio input capture. As my audio input capture, I always prefer to use a real vocal microphone over a built-in mic in a phone or a laptop. So I'm gonna be using my Apollo interface, which is one of the most professional ones you can get but I'll also include some links to more affordable interfaces in the description below. So once we've got our mic connected to our interface, we're now ready to add it as an audio input capture. So I'm gonna call mine Apollo, and we're gonna hit OK, and you should see your device listed here, my Universal Audio Apollo Thunderbolt. And as you can see, we're already receiving some audio. Let's also, you know what, I'm just gonna add my camera to this scene, even though this isn't an audio tip. I'm gonna add my video capture device, and I'm gonna call this my Canon. And we can go in here, USB video adapter, which I'll also put a link to in the description. I like to use the 1080p preset, but none of my audio is going through this. This is just so you guys can see me while I do the tutorial. So let's get back into the audio. So as you can see, my mic is connected to input one here in my Apollo. And OBS was built on a very old school Windows framework, which only technically supports two inputs. So by default, they assume that that's your left input or your right input. But in this case, I'm connecting a microphone and I want it to come through both ears. So to fix that, we could very easily go into our advanced audio properties and click this button that says mono. And now it's treating whatever we plug into input one or input two as a mono input signal. So now that we've got our microphone connected, let's get into some processing. Let's go into this Apollo layer, if you think of these as all the layers in your scene. Go into the filters menu, and you can hit the plus button to add a new filter to it. They give you a collection of stock plugins. Now the first plugin that I always like to use is a limiter. This is a great effect that limits your volume from going too loud. It's probably not gonna be the best quality limiter that you can get compared to some third-party ones. So I'm gonna show you how to load up one of your better limiters that you can find from companies like FabFilter or T-Rex or whoever makes your favorite plugins. We chose the VST2 option, which brings us to this menu of all of the plugins that you have installed on your computer. Video content is the driving force behind every popular platform, audience, and successful brand. My name is Reed Stefan, realest puppet in the game, and this is how to create video content like a pro. In this seven part beginner's guide, I'm teaching you everything you need to know about cameras, lighting, editing, audio, and more. Elevate your video production skills, then download my TikTok template for Adobe Premiere, coloring presets, and vocal chains to create your next video. Only at wholeloops.com. Now, I'm a music producer and also a plugin enthusiast, so I have tons of plugin bundles installed, but your list probably won't be this extensive to scroll through. I'm going to go for a common favorite, the FabFilter Pro L2. And you can see your audio showing up through here. Now, let's see how loud we can make this audio. We can keep going up and up and up and pushing it. And as you could see, no matter how loud we get, it's not gonna clip because the limiter is here preventing it from going up and above the zero point. Now, we probably don't wanna do it this loud. I would probably recommend doing it somewhere closer to about here. If you're just starting to see this red attenuation meter starting to come on, that's probably how you know you have the perfect level. So somewhere for me is around plus 10, and that's a huge boost in volume that you're getting 
right off the bat just from having your audio going through a limiter. My favorite preset for speech is actually the transparent option. And to keep it all latency free, we're just gonna leave all of these options here in the default setting. And that is a great choice to improve the audio quality of any microphone, whether it's your webcam microphone, your iPhone built-in mic, anything will benefit from being sent through a limiter. And you also have the option to create an entire chain. So maybe we wanna create another one, and this is gonna be our de-esser. And we could pull up the FabFilter de-esser. Unfortunately, Waves plugins don't show up in this menu. Something to do with the Waves shell and how they get installed. Really, every other plugin brand's VSTs will appear in here. Let's go for the FabFilter Pro DS. And I actually want my limiter to come after the DSer, so I'm just going to use that down arrow to push it down. Let's click on our DSer, open the plugin interface, and as you can see, it's cutting down all the S's to just make it a little bit smoother on your ears for your listener. This is a really useful tool that is in all of my speech sauce presets. If you're looking at wholeloops.com, we have it available for Waves plugins and Ableton plugins. But like I said, Waves plugins don't load up in this menu for some reason. So today I'm using FabFilter. This is a great place to create a discrete vocal chain that will drastically improve your viewer's audio levels and sound quality. And the final tip that I have is another free application called Loopback Audio. And this is the trick that I would use if I wanted my live audience to hear my audio directly coming out of Ableton, for example. Right now I'm using it to record my own microphone for this tutorial, but I could be making a beat and I want my audience to hear what I'm doing in OBS. So I've used this little setup here to select my universal audio as the input, and I connect a line directly to the output going from each mic input. And also I have my speaker output going straight out here too. And this will send the audio from not only Ableton, but any app that's playing audio through my loopback system. And then instead of selecting my Apollo as the input signal here, I could go in here and just change it to loopback audio and hit OK. And now we've got our microphone audio. And if I turn on like my metronome here in Ableton, your live stream audience would be able to hear that clearly as well. Now we do have those filters that I was talking about earlier on this layer. This would kind of be acting as like a master chain on your Ableton audio or whatever DAW you were trying to demonstrate in. So be conscious of that as you add effects, because if you're using loopback audio, these effects will process all of your audio. So maybe if I was doing a beat making tutorial, I would take away the de and the limiter. You could very easily remove them with the minus key, and then you're back to a clean, unprocessed signal here in OVS. So there you have it, all of my tips for broadcasting audio like a professional, using some really high quality filters to enhance the levels and tone of your microphone, as well as connecting your gear to your computer. My name is Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. And if you wanna watch my complete content creation course, where I walk you through how to create a TikTok from scratch, how to record your screen, how to set up your camera and lens correctly, lighting, live streaming, thumbnails, and more, I'll put a link to that in the description and catch you guys next time in another tutorial. Peace out. Do, 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 do,